Hello friends, myself Chirag Balodia. Today I am going to teach you case coherence problem topic of computer organization and architecture. First of all, what is case coherence problem? In a single CPU system, two copies of same data like this. This is two copies of same data, one in case memory and another in main memory. Now, this is two copies of data, both are same, one is in main memory, one is in case memory. Whenever this data may become different now see another diagram so this data are different in first diagram both are same when this di second diagram both are different so it shows the data inconsistency it is called case coherence problem so second figure shows the case coherence problem okay before further proceed uh, how to protect data during case coherence problem we see the different strategies to writing into the case memory how can we write case memory uh, first of all first strategy is write through case write back system and then for write through system now see one by one all the uh, different strategies first one write through case name suggest suggest itself it will be first changes in case and then in main memory so now see uh, the case controller copies data to the main memory immediately after it is written into the case when case memory is modified then directly uh, main memory is modified due to this main memory always contain a valid data and thus any block in the case can be overwritten immediately without data loss now see this is diagram processor controller uh, first uh, this is uh, before uh, any modification this is first diagram main memory and cache memory data are uh, same now processor give changes to cache controller cache controller writes uh, data into the cache memory or modify the existing data and directly after immediately after you can say uh, after uh, changes in cache memory immediately after changes in main memory so both copies are same so it protects data but the problem is that this approach requires time to write data in main memory with increase in bus traffic. It is reduce the system performance. <coughs> Second one, write back system. In a write back system, the alter bit in the tag field is used to keep information of the new data. It is said the controller copies the block to main memory before loading new data into the case. Uh, there is one field is available in the tech field in the main memory. So uh, for this uh, explanation of tech field you can see the associative memory in fully associative or set associative memory video. So tech field is used to keep the information of the new data. When tech field is changed it means data of that block will be changed or modified. So due to one time write operation number of write cycles are reduced in write back system. So this system is better in compared to write through case. But this system has following disadvantages. First one, uh, it is necessary that all alter blocks must be written to the main memory before another device can access these blocks in main memory. So other devices uh, accept processor. Uh, input and output devices also access the main memory continuously. So before accessing uh, any device, so you must have to uh, write or modify the data which is uh, modification. Uh, this modification given by the processor. So this figure is available for better understanding. You see this right through and right back and before update. Using this figure you can easily understand right through and right back system. <coughs> Third one buffered right through system. Its name suggests itself. Uh, before writing anything in case or in main memory you have to uh, first write buffered or uh, modification stored in buffer area. So see this in buffered write through system the processor can start a new cycle before the write cycle to the main memory is completed. This means that the write accesses to the main memory are buffered. So any modification given by the uh, CPU or processor it will be stored into the buffer and then it will be changed the main memory. In such system a read access which is a case hit can be performed simultaneously when main memory is updated. It means uh, buffered data are stored in the main memory at that time uh, at the same time read operation will be performed on cache memory and it uh, produce case hit. Now check however two consecutive write operations to the main memory and read operation with cache miss require to processor the wait. If this scenario will be generated so it means uh, both data are uh, 
change it means uh, old copy is available inside the cache memory and new copy will be available inside the main memory at that time processor uh, is in waiting state and um, before uh, any further process both memory will be same or copied the main memory block into the cache memory now there are four different approaches to prevent data inconsistency or you can say a problem of cache coherence that is to protect cache coherency first one is bus watching also can say uh, also you can say snooping second one is hardware transparency and non cacheable memory and fourth one is cache flushing now see one by one first bus watching <coughs> see the diagram uh, in bus uh, watching you can see in bus watching case case controller invalidates the case entry if another master writes to a location inside memory which also resides in the, the case memory now uh, i am explaining this diagram this is processor this is case controller this is said memory and this is uh, bus master uh, here said memory connected with uh, uh, another other devices like input output using the bus master if bus master changes any data or any data block inside the said memory same time case controller watch this uh, bus in which block it will be uh, modified in said memory if any kind of changes in said memory at the same time cache controller take this data and put into the cache memory so you can say protect the cache coherence problem using the bus watching second hardware transparency uh, now see the figure uh, in hardware transparency access of all devices to the main memory are routed through the same case or by copying all case right both to the main memory and to all other cases now uh, i am explaining this diagram this is main memory uh, this is the cache memory uh, for all input output devices or any other devices and this cache memory for the processor only so two separate cache memories are available so whenever any changes given by the uh, any hardware uh, or any processor so both case memory separate case memory change at set same time if uh, changes or modify by the input output device this case memory is updated at the same time this case memory is updated so you can see this this is the hardware transparency also we can say uh, it protects the data in case coherence problem and both are connected simultaneously at the main memory and it changes the data in main memory non casable memory see the figure for this non casable memory so there is no separate case is available so you can say this figure is non casable memory so one main memory is available it is divided into two part one part is non casable and second part is casable memory so now uh, see the uh, description processor can partition its main memory into casable and non casable see this this is non casable this is casable by designing shared memory as non casable memory cache coherency can be maintained since shared memory is never copied into the cache so no need to copy from non casable to casable or casable to non casable because it is one hardware only last one is cache flushing to avoid data inconsistency or cache coherence problem a cache flush means writes any altered data to the main memory and uh, also in cache memory in the system uh, flushed before a device writes to shared memory so any other device is uh, access shared memory before accessing uh, cache flushing will be uh, modify the data in cache memory and main memory this is also one kind of data protection in cache coherence problem thank you for watching this video please like share and comment subscribe my channel on youtube chirag baloria please press bell icon to get new video notification thank you